Hey what is up guys it is Zarius and welcome back to another vehicle tutorial. Today's tutorial is a special request from Lord Daka asking me to build this container forklift. Now this guys is my own design. Um, I've tried to put the new kind of textures into it as you see these like end rods to give that kind of hoist kind of feel to it. So what we're going to need is we're going to need our coal blocks, we're going to need blocks of quartz, we're going to need some cobblestone wall and uh, some corner stairs, some slabs, uh, some trap doors, and uh, you know what, I think we'll get started on that is straight away. Alright, so what we're going to do, is going to come straight here and we're going to place down a set of four, then another set of four, we're going to leave a three space gap, so one, two, three, and then we're going to do the same again, this side. Just like that, okay, so you've got that kind of look. From this point, we're going to leave a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and on the ninth block, you're going to place the last two tires down in line with the first kind of look. So from the top, you're going to have something that looks like that. Okie dokie. Now from this point, we're going to grab our quartz blocks and we are just going to run three across the top and then we're going to place three slabs directly underneath. Just like that. Okay. From this point, we're just going to grab our full block. And we're just going to place one here. Beautiful. Now, with these ones, we're just going to place these up the top like that. And then we're going to bring down our slabs all the way right down. And we're going to do the same again. Now, I haven't got world edit on 11.2. So, I'll be going to do this all manual. But that's okay because you're building along with me, right? Now from this point, I'm just going to run all the blocks down because we're going to just chip away at this in time. So we're just going to fill this in like so. I can't get used to this uh, hitting the block and jumping thing. Okay, so we've got that kind of look, okay? So it's just one big block all the way through the whole end, okay? Now from this point, we're going to grab our quartz stairs and we're going to place one this way behind each tire. And that's just going to symbolize the mud guard. Okay. From here, we're going to grab one corner stair. We're going to place that here and then a slab here. Corner stair on the front, behind that slab. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. On the back tires, stair and stair. Stare and stare. Okay. Now I'm doing this in the walk flows version of the texture pack. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Okay, cobblestone wall. One, two, three. And then you're going to come up. One, two. So there's three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, okay, we're going to have 13, let's go up another one, make it 14, Ta -da. and we're going to do the same again, just bring it all the way to the top, just like that, okay, now down the bottom here, we're going to come up by 1, 2, 3, and on the fourth one, so the fifth one, one across, come up by 3, 1, 2, 3, and there, put one across, one, two, three, and on the last one, we're going to place one there as well. Okay? So that's going to look like from here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drop down. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six. And back around this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can tie that off in the corner like that. Right, next step is we are going to go and grab ourselves some end rods. There you go. And my end rods in this pack are black, so it looks really effective down the bottom. We're going to place that in the center, and we're going to bring that up, like so. And then we're going to bring that all the way down, like that. So it looks like a full-on hoist. From this point, what we're going to do is we're going to come out one and two. 
like that. And we're going to do the same again. And the same again. Okay. Beautiful. Now, from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to bring these out like so to two to three in length. With your end rods, you're going to bring them out and you're going to connect them like that. Okay, off these little corner bits. I'll call them nuggets. And we'll just bring them up and we're just going to connect them all the way to the top. Just like that. And we'll do the same again. And down again. And then we all connect it in. So now we've got the kind of hoist. Alright. From this point we're just going to bring this out. Go one, two. It's going to come out by two on that side. And two on that side. Alright. Now that looks a bit different. But that's fine. That is fine. Because we're going to adjust this. We're going to change this completely different to that. So I've got an idea. But that's where you're going to hold the container on, guys. Okay? Now, moving right along to over here. What we're going to do is we are going to knock out these. And we're going to put anvils. Uh, where are the anvils at? Where's the anvils? There we go. Anvils. And we're going to place an anvil right here so it's connected on and here as well and right here we're going to place an iron block one there and one there okay beautiful beautiful right above this what we're going to do then is we're going to place another anvil and an anvil here and the end rods we're going to connect one there and one there I'm changing this up as we go compared to that one because I see a lot of adjustments that I'd like to make. From this point, I'm just going to connect the two cobblestone walls and bring them back to there. Look at that. Looks better already. Loving it. Loving it. From this point, I'm just going to grab my quartz block. I'm going to place one there and one there with my end rods here and here. So it looks like a full-on mechanism system for the hoist. Okie dokie. Right, next step, we're going to build up. And what we're going to do is continue with our quartz blocks. And we are going to continue them all the way down the back. Like so. And just close it off. We're just going to fill it into the minute. And we're going to chop, chop, chop afterwards. So you've got that. Okay, right here and here, we're going to put a stair. I'm going to turn them up like that, just to give it some kind of depth into it as well. Okay, from this point, what we're going to do is we are going to swap out some blocks. So I'm just going to get rid of the coal blocks and the iron blocks. And we are going to go and grab some uh, stone bricks. And we're going to use some stone brick stairs. And from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to place one here. And with our stairs, we're going to turn our stairs one, two. Oh, come on. Keys are all gone funny. Here. And we're going to turn it around here. Okay? So we've got that kind of little groove underneath. We're going to place one here. We're going to knock out that middle one and place one here. Just like that. This is where we're going to start lifting it up now to oversee the operation stone bricks we're going to place one here and one here and we'll do the same again just like that on the ends one two and on the front turn them around one two three just like that right from this spot what we're going to do is we're going to grab our trap doors we're going to place some here and here and at the bottom here, we're just going to take these bottom ones out. Just like that. Okay, so you've got that little bit underneath. And then come around the other side, do the same again. So one, two, and we'll take out the bottom ones like that. Okay, so you've got that kind of groove underneath. Sweet. Beautiful. 
All right, next step, slab. So I'll place one here, and if I remember correctly, they're full blocks, and it's four. So one, two, three, four. That's right. Do the same again. One, two, three, four, and then a slab right here. So this is where you're going to be able to jump up on and climb into the uh, cabin. Right. Next step. Next step. We are going to do the cabin. So what we're going to need to do now is grab our glass blocks and we're going to place them all along the front or on the back, like so. I'm going to come up by two blocks in height, just like that. All right. With your black wool or your bedrock, it's up to you. I'm going to come up by two blocks. One, two. One, two. And in here, we're going to fill that with normal glass panes by two. One, two. Just like that. Okay? In here, we just fill that in like so. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Right, next step. We can actually close this off now as well. So I'll just do that real quick. Just like that. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, now, here. We need to build up, so we're going to grab our blocks, just like that. And we're going to place a stair, or a slab, just there like so. And we're going to do the same again here. Okay. And around here as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next step. This is going to allow us to jump up, walk along, and jump and climb in the cabin. Sweet, 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 sweet. Loving it. Okay, iron trap doors on the roof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's our little kind of roof to it. And I'm just going to do all the details now so I don't forget. I'm going to stick some item frames on the top. Because that's where we're going to put the lights. Let's grab that there as well. Let's pop our lights in here and here. Also, whilst we're here, we're going to do it on the front. So we're going to put one there and one there for lights for the night workers. Look at that. How cool does that look? Beautiful, beautiful. Right, next step is we are going to grab some stone slabs. And we're going to come in by two, one, two, and then one, two, just like that. Now you can, if you want, bring these cobblestone walls back so it looks like a full-on mechanism. I think that will look better as well, actually. So we'll just go and do that. Okay. Beautiful. I mean, look at that. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. Right. Trap doors as well. We can grab them again. And we're going to place one here and place one here and that's just going to be symbolizing stairs so you jump up like this up and up beautiful i'm just going to stick a chair in uh, any chair you want really i'm just going to use a wooden chair i'm just going to place that boom just like that okay sweet still with me awesome stuff Right, signs. Signs are the next thing. So grab our signs. And uh, you can tart it up whichever way you want. I mean, uh, really, that shouldn't be there, really. I'm going to take that out, swap it over. And I'm going to put that a bit more. Change that up now, actually. And let's just put a block there. Yeah, that looks better. Looks better already. Oh, uh, yeah, signs. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Come around the back. One, two, three, four. Just like that. How awesome is that? Sweet. Right. We're going to work on the back now. Okay. And we're going to grab our slabs, which we'll just grab from here. There we go. And we're going to place them down the bottom. One, two, three. Just like that. Okay. Stairs. 
and I'll turn two around this way, just like that. We've got this kind of little groove kind of thing to it. Right here, we're going to grab an anvil, place an anvil just like that. On top, we're going to use a quartz block. One, two, and three. It's got that kind of back end to it. Okay. I'm just going to confirm that to make sure that is right. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Now we're going to use slabs. One, two, three, four, and five. Because right here, we're going to use a cobblestone wall. And we're going to put the cobblestone wall right here. And you can come up by two or one. I'm just going to come up by one. And I'm going to use uh, end rod and put that there as the funnel for exhaust from this. All right. Actually, what we're going to do is going to take these out and we're going to swap them to slabs, stone slabs. I'm going to place them across one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to raise that up just like that. Beautiful. Okay, now, signs. Grab the signs. Just place them around the edge. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Come down the bottom as well. One, two, three. Here, item frames. One and two. And we're just going to use some redstone blocks for the brake lights. Look at that. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Next step as well, we're going to use some iron bars, and this is just going to give it some protection and some hoist when the guy gets up to something to hold on to. So we're going to whip them up on either side, bring them at the back, and we're just going to filter them in and give it some extra stability in case anything falls from behind like that. Okay. You can even do it up the top as well, and encase the whole thing into a cage, just like that. All right. The next step is the tarting up. We need to give it some kind of extra kind of flair to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear all the inventory, and we're going to grab some buttons. Uh, let's grab some more trap doors. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's let's just tart it up. I'm going to put a button here. I'm going to put a button over this side. And I don't think we need anything else. I mean, what we can do is we can actually put trap doors underneath just to give it that kind of metal kind of look to it. I mean, that doesn't look too bad at all, does it? So we're going to do that. So I'll just come around this side. Bump. Knock in the iron frames like that. That looks better already. Loving it, loving it. Hell yeah. Um, what we can do if you want to cover that in as well, we'll just put a sign here and a sign here. I think that looks a bit cool as well. Um, really, you can change it up as any, any way you want. What we've got to do first, though, which we almost forgot, is iron bars iron bars here and then go and grab some white panes of glass I'm gonna come up by two one two so it's just gonna hold it on oh, I can't do it there swap that out swap that out to a full block there we go that's better iron bars here white glass panes here and here beautiful you know what, I think this is complete. Now, if you want to do this forklift and you want to do a container, there are kind of measurements that I actually went by. Um, on the deck craft server, we actually go by three in width. And I think it's four, four blocks in height. So one, two, three, and four. Yeah, I think that's right. I think. It's been a while. It's been a while, so we're just going to have to forgive me if it's wrong. <laughs> but we're going to go across and do this real quick. And uh, we'll sort the top out as well. Yep, that looks sweet. 
bring that down two, three, and four. One, two. Yep. Sweet. Just fill it in. Just fill it in. There we go. Bring it out. Bring it out. Close it off. Last bit here. Close off at the bottom. Right. And in here. Beautiful. And we're just going to run like that. And in here as well. Beautiful. So there's another container. And. Uh, what we can do here is lift this up, up and over, so it looks like it's gripping on. Up, up and over. Look at that. Better than that one. Uh, also, you want to bring this up just that little bit higher as well. I say by an extra one block, so it's in line with this corner and that corner. And we can just close that off there as well. Make this a double protection sort of thing. And all I do then, guys, is I just grab my wooden buttons or stone buttons. I'll just grab the stone buttons, and we're going to use some normal fence. And all we do is drop the fence down here and here, and here as well. And just drop in one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And on the ends, you just actually we'll do the top. Just drop them there like that. And that, maybe one here as well. And patterns, I don't know, it's up to you what sort of patterns you want. Yeah, that looks, oh yeah, that looks cool. Just change up the colors. So let's do a green, let's do a, a dark blue, and an aqua. Try that. Aqua, blue. And green and that is it ladies and gentlemen that is it as I said you can change a few things around if you want you can just add bits and pieces on just like that it's all beautiful looking good uh, last little bit my bad my bad my bad trap doors across the front just like that so you can actually walk through and have a look at all the kind of mechanics it's going on but that is it that is the forklift for a container container docks beautiful stuff anyway guys thank you so much for watching Dakar if you're watching this I hope this worked out really well for you man I really do and uh, stick around guys for more vehicle tutorials let's builds and more fun with Minecraft I'm Zaris HD thanks for watching and I shall see you on the next video Thank you.